Hey Crafterbellas, it's me Alex again, doing what I do best, and it's called hauling. <laughs> I know in um, one of my other videos I had mentioned that I had purchased quite a few things over the last month, and this is one of them. This is from a company called scrappingforless.com, and this, first of all, I bought an obscene amount of, of stuff. There are five indoors pages. I mean, okay, so four, because the last one isn't really. But I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous. When the package came, it was so freaking heavy. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Anyways, um, so I got quite a few things. This website was great. They had packs, collection packs for Echo Park, $10. Cartabella, $10. I mean, like really inexpensive stuff. So I um, was able to grab quite a few things. We'll start off with these. These are uh, Echo Park Designer 6x6 stencils. Um, I bought some texture paste and uh, I wanted to try to give it a go. And I thought that these would be cute for December daily. I tried turning my light up once. I know that there's a glare. But I thought these were really cute. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Because, like I said, there's four pages. <laughs> but to tell you how much these were. Uh, was, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, like I said. Uh, the stencils were four bucks. I've seen these go for, I think, $6.99 elsewhere. So, that is that. Um, I'm going to go all the extraneous stuff first before the paper. Because this is the paper. <laughs> um, okay. I bought these thickers. They are the Midnight Thickers from American Crafts. And they're really cute. They are gold with like a very thin stripe down the middle. And I got this sticker sheet. This is uh, my Valentine from Simple Stories. It's very cute. It's very vintage. And I just liked it so I decided to get it and I think it was really cheap um okay so like I said before we get all the paper let's look at some of the ephemera packs I got so for my thankful 30 I just was gathering up a bunch of ephemera stuff uh, and this is the echo oh excuse me cartabella hello allum hello allum whoever allum is <laughs> hello autumn ephemera pack and there's just really cute things going on in there, and I just really liked it. So, um, did I get another color one? I did. This is also from Hello Allum. No, I'm just kidding. Hello Autumn. And these are the frames and tags. This one on the front's really pretty. And these, I. I didn't want to look up the prices. Where, where'd that go? I didn't want to look up the prices for that, but I have to tell you, I think those were. I mean, I think they were like a dollar seventy-five. Excuse me, they were two dollars. But I mean, still cheap. This is the Hello Christmas from Cardabella. Oh my god. Mr. and Mrs. Santa. So I've got that ephemera pack. This is the Hello Christmas frames and tags. Very cute. And then, I, I, again, I had stepped out of the crafting world. Had no idea Echo Park had done some... <laughs> Disney-esque, I guess you can't say that they're Disney because Disney's trademarked, but these are Disney-esque. They're based on some Disney movies. So this is the 
Lost in Neverland frames and tags. Very cute. Look at all the Lost Boys up there. How oh, good. And then the ephemera pack. It's just, I mean, those mermaids. Probably my favorite part of Peter Pan. Okay, so now. I mean, this is like a situation here. <laughs> situation one. And situation two. I think I'm going to go through the packs first because that'll be just easy. <laughs> These all single sheets. Jesus. <laughs> okay. So I ended up getting the um, collection pack for the Hello Christmas by Cartabella. And they were just... Uh, I had a particular theme that I'm using for Christmas this year. Uh, but then I decided I wasn't just gonna... Uh, what's the word? I can't even think. It's 1.10 in the morning. I wasn't going to, um, fill in the blanks. <laughs> I didn't want to have to choose everything from one collection. That didn't make any sense. I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. I didn't want to box myself in and not be able to use other product outside of things that I had picked out with like the aquas and the pinks and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to limit myself. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Let's figure things out, Alex. I didn't want to limit myself to one particular collection. Um, so I told myself, if you get a couple Christmas collections, you can use a little bit for different stories on every day. And I have a crap ton of Christmas pictures from the past that I can use as a scrap. So I figured, and it was 10 bucks. Can you really complain? <laughs> no, that's how I'm justifying it. So the pattern papers are really cute. I'm not going to go through them. There's There are tons of people who have hauled this and have shown it. So if you really want to see the collection papers, you can let me know and I can do a specific one on just this particular uh, collection. Or you can just Google it. I'm sure you'll find somebody who will have done it. This, I can't even tell you can't even tell you I squealed so hardcore when I saw this collection um this is a very merry christmas collection kit this is 2016 2017 I don't remember it I I I had kind of stopped scrapping um and I just I didn't know this but how okay so if any of you old timers of who have watched my videos of Christmas's past or Hall's past. I have talked about this. I don't know how many times how vintage Christmas is like my favorite Christmas. Don't get me wrong. I love me some points that is right here. Some candy canes, but I love me some vintage Christmas. And not only do I love me some vintage Chris vintage Christmas. One of the things that I have collected since I was about 18, when I can find them. Let's see if I can get this in here. Are shiny bright ornaments. And I will, I, I bought a couple of these papers singly. The fact that there is a paper collection that shows that I about lost my shit. Excuse my friend. I couldn't believe how cute this collection is. Um, so cute. So like I said, I, I will show you, I bought a few of these extra pages. So when we get to that, I mean, this is a very Merry Christmas, by the way, by Stephen Duncan. And those are the only two collections that I think I got. Um, so the deal with scrapbooking for less is that they have some single sheets of paper, but for the majority, you, you're paying, let me just reference my Bible of 
inventory here. Um, so instead of 65, so it's 65 cents per sheet or it's like two for a dollar 20 opposed to a dollar 30. So you save 10 cents, not a big whoop, but 65 cents per sheet for this. Um, I guess we can call this, you know, um, not, the words are not coming to me, kids. They are not coming to me. For, you know, like brands like Echo Park and Cartabella, stuff like that. High-end brand paper companies, um, 65 cents per sheet. It's pretty great. So some of them I got singly, um, and some of them came with the twofer. So uh, this is from Echo Park. Fall is in the air, and this is really cute. The acorns. And I got this, of course, for fall inspiration for that purple 30. And then a very pretty brown berry print. Looks almost like baby's breath, actually. This is uh, also from Echo Park Falls in the Air. And these are pumpkins. And okay, so here's a two for. So here's pumpkin. And then the other side is this plaid. Really cute. Orange. It's got the teal maroon. Very cute. This is Hello Baby Bassinets. Probably see that there. And the camera is not doing this pink any just justice. It's not doing any justice. <laughs> this is more of like a, it's almost kind of like a neon y violet. Um, like if you took a lavender highlighter, that's like the color of this. And these bassinets are really cute. Girls clothesline from Echo Park, Hello Baby. And these com these companies, OMG. This is from 2019. So these are older collections, which is why you're getting them on a discount. This is the um, Echo Park I Am Mom collection. I thought that was really cute. So this is just a sheet with all different days of the week. And then this circle paper, which is really fun. And I'm sure you guys have seen all of these. Um, but this is papers from the Lost in Neverland collection. So it's the Lost Boys and then this red plaid. This is also from Lost in Neverland. It's, uh, these look like feathers or just swatches. And then there's Pita. Again, from Lost in Neverland. With all the Tinkerbells. So stinking cute. Uh, Echo Park, Merry and Bright collection. These presents, these were, I mean, the lights are really cute. The presents, I love it because you can fussy cut all the presents if you need to. I had to take a, I had to take a um, double take when I saw this paper originally. Um, my, I went to an all girls Catholic high school and this looks very much like the plaid of my skirt. Sorry, I'm, it was irritating me that these weren't like even. Oh, hey. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh crap. I had to take a double take. So this is from the Echo Park Trick or Treat Collection from 2019. So it's got skeletons, ghosties, and the plaid. Uh, this is family from Jen Hatfield. I don't think this is a one -er, but I loved these leaves with this, um, they're like mustard leaves with this aqua background, or more like a sea foam. Um, I think this is also from Jen Hatfield. No, no, this is Pebbles Spooky Collection. So all of the you know, so these crazy evil eyes <laughs> and then potions and bottles and stuff like that. So really cute. 
I thought this is very pretty. Cherry stockings from Cartabella. It just says Christmas from 2018. I loved the buffalo plaid stockings. I thought those were so cute. Uh, this is also from Christmas. And these, if you guys are any fan of, uh, you know, Hearth and Home, the people who do the fixer-upper, the gains, with these circle wreaths. Just very cute, very classy. Very farmhouse. This is from Christmas Market. So the house is in the trucks, which is really cute, and a really nice snowflake. Also from Christmas Market, looks like mistletoe, and then again, these wreaths. I just, I love those. I actually bought a little kit. Hey, do I have it up here? I bought this little wreath kit from the dollar bin at Target. It was three bucks. But it's that same, you know, this very popular wire wreath thing you can, has a little felt things. I actually bought, they have one for fall. Oh wait, this is the same one, so I must have another one. I bought two of each, so they had one for fall and one for Christmas, and I think the fall ones are elsewhere. So those were fun, a little detour. <laughs> Uh, this is Fall Break by Cartabella, and this, oh my gosh, this, I, when I saw it, uh, on the website, I literally was like, oh my goodness, I think I said it out loud. It's so pretty. Again, that pop of, like, seafoam green. Also from Fall Break, Gourd Variety, and this is very sentimental to me. Um, my mom loves the I don't know the technical name for them but they used to be like the diagram of a flower and it wrote like the species name and all that kind of stuff but it was almost like a, a drawn diagram that looks very similar to this so when I saw that I thought OMG there's another paper in here somewhere that I'll explain more um from fall market cartabella Very cute. Little wagons with pumpkins. Also from Fall Market. And see, they've got those wire wreaths with the uh, hexagon ones in the circle. So cute. Uh, Hello Autumn. I'm going to move this over so you can make sure you get both in here. Hello Autumn from Cartabella. Very cute little acorns and then crates. Crates of fruits and veggies. This is from It's a Girl Cartabella. Can't imagine why I bought these papers. <laughs> ah, here we go. So this comes from the very, a very Merry Christmas collection, these four by sixes. I think these are in the collection packs, but I had to like, I, I had to get them. Backside is this red swirly. This really pretty red swirly paper. But look at these. OMG. This. I love that. This is um, from the same collection, but it's almost like an element sheet. They don't have the... It's not anything... You know, this isn't 4 by 6 It's This doesn't have any specific size element. Like this isn't actually a four by six, but you can definitely cut them out. And then this very pretty distressed snowflake. And 
Did I? I thought I bought more than one of these. Maybe not. Um, what? Come to me, daddy. <laughs> I love shiny brights. I've got some. I actually have some actual vintage ones. Um, I actually have some true vintage shiny brights uh, from the 60s, so that got me very excited. Um, an angel hair. So it's a pain in the ass to get off the tree, but the effect that angel hair has on trees, it's, you put it, I don't even think they make it anymore because it's basically spun glass, like it says here. It's kind of dangerous, but... Um, when if any of you folks have ever had angel hair on your tree the effect that it has it may you put it in front of a light and it makes the light illuminate like it's got a halo around it it's so gorgeous so beautiful um and some more shiny right so this i feel like i want to just frame this one and then use the other one um okie dokie this is uh from the christmas collection from cartabella just some words. And then this side were beautiful tags. Almost a watercolor essence. Also from Christmas Market. The red trucks. I love the red trucks. And some Christmas trees. Oh wait, these are separate. These are different. Uh, these are three by four cards for Christmas Market. Uh, that was beautiful. I love that. That's really great, too. Um, and then this tree one has these great tags on it. So they look similar to the other ones, but in uh, the Christmas market coloring, more red and black. This is a sticker sheet for the Echo Park Hello Baby. thought that was really cute. This is from Bow Bunny Stay Humble. Uh... And I, I thought this was pretty. I was going to try to put this in my thankful 30. And again, this said thankful, grateful, blessed. So I thought that that was really great. I, I bought some 4x4 four four pockets for my grateful 30. And I figured I would use that. And this backside is just really pretty dots. Distressed dots. And some stickers. Yeah, like I said, when I, when I saw this collection, I just kind of went nuts out. I was like, OMG, gotta have it. Um, again, fall break collection, but again, here's these wreaths. Are these the two for no? Uh, these beautiful wreaths with all of the, I don't know if you can see that, the leaves. And this is also four by six journaling cards. Very vintage feel here and here. I love this pumpkin, or Farmer Gordon's Pumpkin Farm. And then a really pretty orange gingham with, uh, some again cut aparts. Really, oh, this is interesting. Where you where you start to get the fall colors. Um, just very pretty, very vintagey. Again, fall market. A really pretty flower bouquet. It looks very rifle paper company esque, and some borders. Autumn is a second spring where every leaf is a flower. Oh, that's sweet. I really do love fall. Fall is probably my favorite. I mean, I love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. Love me some Christmas. But I love fall. I love it when it gets dark early. I just, I love the cold Christmas in the air. I, I love it. Um, okay, so more 4 by 6 journaling cards for the Hello Autumn. This paper was so awesome. I think I've got two of these. It might be floating in the bottom of the pack. Hi, puppy. <laughs> My dog's like 
hanging out. This is from the Merry Christmas collection from Cardabella. And this is journaling cards. So this isn't the very Merry Christmas. This is just the Merry Christmas <laughs> retro design. I liked it. I preferred the very Merry Christmas, but this is very cute. Like these are very cute. I don't think I bought the collection pack to this. Our house from Cartabella. And I think these are also journaling cards that were kind of fall themed. I have a recipe. I want to put my grandmother's dressing recipe on one of these for Genevieve in the future. Rockabye Baby. This is from the boy part of it, but I love the teal and turquoise. But I loved some of these journaling cards. My next tattoo will be the star sign of Gen Genevieve star sign so uh, that was really cute this is the spring market collection and these are the tags I was talking about so they have like these look very watercolory but they're just they're so near and dear to my heart this is the echo park lumberjack collection I think this is the, uh, this is a the cards I got this because I got this Family pajamas in that red buffalo plaid. We our Christmas card this year. And the 4x4 four four cutouts. Very cute. And then I just thought, this is like the chalkboard. I could totally cut that out if I needed to. A lumberjack Christmas from Echo Park. Really pretty Christmas trees with some things to cut out, gift tags, happy holidays, fun stuff like that. This is a Perfect Autumn by Echo Park and Lori Whitlock. Cute little kind of retro design there. And some cut apart, some three by four cards, all fall-esque. And this very pretty, that circle pattern. And then these are the four by six cards. This collection I thought was really great. Uh, I didn't even know that they had made such a thing. This is the coffee collection by Echo Park. And I got these, what is it, three by threes. I just thought that was great because coffee. Coffee is the jam. And the confections here are great, but it's all about the wonderful life after coffee. It's a wonderful life after coffee. Amen. Uh, Falls in the air, Echo Park. Three by four journaling cards and a really pretty orange damask print. And then I think we're back to, no, nope, just kidding. <laughs> Falls in the air, Echo Park. These are the four by six journaling cards. Falls in the air, Echo Park. I love that we call this Genevieve yellow, that mustard yellow, because she just looks so pretty in that. And there's some border stickers here. Hello, baby. Very pretty florals, but here's some journaling cards. Some more Hello Baby. Cute Fox the Deer, the Bunny, and these are the 4x6 journaling cards with some 2x2s at the bottom. This is part of the I Am Mom collection. The vans. We're totally thinking about getting a minivan. And I don't know how these are measuring, like one and a half by two, maybe. Um, but very cute. Straight out of carpool. We're a ways away from that, but nice to say. Okay, these are the four by sixes for the Lost in Neverland. And a very pretty star paper. Oh, there's my mermaids. Four by six cutouts with the mermaids. Very cool. This is a very cool collection. I dig the color the color story here. Um, this is from the Spooky Collection for Pebbles. Uh, I'm not sure if I... I didn't buy the Spooky Collection. I don't think. I probably did. Watch, I probably did. <laughs> um, but these are the cutouts and tags. And a really neat... 
diagonal stripe. These remind me of the, I don't know if Seas Candy does them anymore at Halloween, but they used to be, it's like a peppermint stick, but it's on its licorice and it's like orange and black. And then look at the labeling strip, really cool crows. 30 minutes in, if you're still here, God bless ya. Um, here's some tags for that Pebbles collection and then a very like word out, word out, word out. <laughs> word art and all of the Halloweens are orange. This is from Photoplay 4x6 cutouts and a really cool uh, yellow plaid. That's not orange. That's yellow, Alex. From American Crafts. Uh, just some cutouts. Oh, this is the pink paisley together for Christmas. And there's just some cutouts. And a really pretty green. Uh, our house collection. We're back to the two for here. Some cats and this really, really bold black gingham. Also from our house, this country floral. And I just was like, yes, please. Look at those golden, beautiful leaves. This is from Rockabye Baby from Cartabella. Really pretty floral print. Print. Plint. You know I'm tired, kids, when I'm starting to not say things correctly. Um, and then Sweet Newborn, Little One, Lady, Girl. Very cute. This is from Cartabella Snow Much Fun. Yeah, you. <laughs> she stared at me like, what was that noise? Wasn't me, kid. It was you. Um, this, I really, I really, I almost bought the collection just for this page, but I've got two from this graphicing for less. But this is so, this is called Snowy Floral. And it's just so pretty. That's really pretty. Almost done. Almost done. Um, and then this is also from the Snow Much Fun collection, the sweaters and the leaves. From the Crepe Paper Hey Pumpkin, I know I've got this paper, but I just really liked, I really like this bold stripe. And then the Boo to You, very cute. A Perfect Autumn by Lori Whitlock. This is Woodland Walk, and these are very cute. Very retro looking trees. Uh, Fall is in the Air by Echo Park. A little bunting going on here with some fall icons and a nice vertical stripe, which you don't really see that often. Another Fall is in the Air from Echo Park. Fall Festival, very cute. And is this last but not least? Yeah, because that's the first paper. Last but not least, kiddos, falls in the air. This really pretty maroon gingham and fall icons, bears, pumpkins, leaves, all sorts of good stuff. Cool. So scrapbook, scrapbooking for less? Scrapbook for less? That's the baby crying. Scrapbookingforless.com. I will try to leave a link below. Hope you enjoyed this massiveness, <laughs> this massive goodness, and I will talk to you all very soon.